Now I'm going to do number sixteen with you, ah,、uh, because this is part of like what we did before. We develop a C plus plus program, prompt the user to enter a test score. The test score has to be between zero to one hundred, otherwise it's invalid. All right, otherwise it's invalid. So let's come right here right now. How do you do? How do you do? The score is between zero to one hundred. So if, okay, how you do the score is between zero to a hundred. Can anyone tell me? Score greater than greater than equal zero and double n is score. Less than equal a hundred, is that right? And you will do the, you will do whatever we supposed to do. Is that right? You know, suppose we supposed to do here. And else, ah,、uh, we just going to say what invalid input. Is that right? Yes or no? Okay. So structure will be like this first. Structure, I'll do the C plus plus with you, but I want you to understand structure. Ah,、uh, then if score greater than zero and score less than a hundred, then we we going to do A B C D. Else we just say invalid score. Correct. All right. Let's see the A B C D is right now. So. Now this is between eighty to a hundred. Eighty to a hundred right now. So can anyone tell me what should I do for this? I'll change eighty. Change this to what? What's the range for this? Eighty. That's right. Eighty. All right. And ah,、uh, then next one I'm going to change this right now. All right. So this is. How many right now? Greater than seventy, is that right? Seventy and less than. Ah,、uh, by by the way, less than greater than, and I'm going to put. Ah、uh, ah,、uh, hold on. Greater than seventy, yes, and less than. This one is less than, no equal. Less than eighty, is that right? Two, ah,、uh, less than. I put less, and I don't need to. Good jobs. Ah,、uh, then I'm going to put right here, right now. Then that'll be greater than equal to sixty. And this will be less than, less not less equal, less than. Ah,、uh, I'm going to put this as six and seventy. Is that right? Hmm. Good. Oh, seven seventy. All right. Then I am going to put this one is greater than equal fifty. All right, and less than ah sixty. All right. Then the else is ah、uh, F. So far, okay. Now, ah.、Uh, You see here right now. Okay, everybody, let's take a look at this right now. So I am going to do this with you right now. Okay, so here, here. Okay, if、uh, if the number here. Okay, if the number here, eighty to a hundred. Okay, ah,、uh, then. Ah,、uh, I need to do both. I need to do both. Is that right? So if I need to do both, I am going to try to find a shortcut. I'm going to try to find a shortcut. All right. So the shortcut way will be this. Okay. The shortcut way is this. I am going to use less than because ah、uh, eighty to a hundred the smallest number. So I'm going to use ah、uh, ah、uh, the I'm going to use greater than, okay, but greater than smallest number. 
greater than the smallest number. Let me show you right. Take a look this and let's do Visual, Visual Studio. Okay. So first, take a look this and let's do Visual Studio right now. So I'm going to say file, <coughs> close solution, and I'm going to create a new project. And this is your empty, uh, empty project. And this is your uh, chapter five uh, in class quiz two. In class quiz two, it's okay. All right, so once I have that, I'm right click it. I'm add a new item. Oh, oh yeah, 16, 16. Uh, let's do 16, okay? Good, okay? So, um, because uh, there's only one, uh, two code question, but let's do 16, that's okay. Thank you, Lydia. Chapter five, uh, chapter five, uh, in class, please. 16 you are right okay sorry sorry all right so that's have golden seven line So boys and girls, I'm here already. So I am going to ask user to give me a score, double score, because sometimes you have, you know, uh, 70.5 something. So we choose to use score as a double, okay? So I'm going to ask you say, CL, enter a test score. All right, so this is a, 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 a not test, enter a score. All right, then uh, between uh, zero to 100. Okay, so I'm going to tell them that. Then I'm going to say seeing a score. All right, so, so far, okay, right now, oh, I have typed correct, seeing. All right, so. Can you tell me how do I set the value and invalid right now? How do I set value and invalid? So now once they have the score, is that right? Set the value and invalid, you use what kind of structure? If else, is that right? Yes or no, who remember? You use what? If else, if, if else structure, All right, to set uh, the valid and the invalid. All right, so who can help me out right now? What should I do? Type it for me, if anybody, can anybody help me? If what? Score greater than uh, equal zero, is that right? Good. And the one score is less than equal a hundred. Is that right? All right. So later we do something else here. Is that right? Otherwise, otherwise we're going to see how we're going to see how um invalid score. Is that right? invalid score because uh score uh score is between zero to a hundred it's okay so that's our structure here first our structure is your score has to be uh greater than equal zero okay good bobby uh, robbie good job okay wei hang great job great so now that's a valid thing right here. That's invalid, we just make sure that's invalid, okay?
All right. So now I need you to see this right now. That's coming back here. Coming back here. Let me make it smaller. Okay. So, gentlemen and ladies, right now I am going to ask you to do this. All right. I'm going to ask you to cut a shortcut way. But when you be able to cut a shortcut, this number need to be consecutive. Do you understand? You cannot jump every. So, like from larger to this one is from larger to small, but they are from larger to small. They are descending order. Is this this? So once you use descending order, okay. I'm going to ask you use greater than. Okay, I'm going to use greater than, and I'm going to ask you to do this, this because this is shortcut. Okay, so I'm going to do where's my strike, strike here, and I'm going to change the color to this. All right, so I can strike this part. I can strike this part, and I can strike this part. I I can most thing is I want to strike is end. I can strike this part. I can strike end. All right. So let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Okay. I wanted to do this. The reason is end operator is the one cost the most the time to carry. To execute it, because if your computer has sixty-four bit, your bus is sixty-four. In every input, you have bit by bit to compare. It costs a lot of time. I understand sometimes we must use end and if, but if if we can avoid, we avoid, it. because time is money in programming. If your application take more time to execute it, your customer will complain. If you take ten second to download, nobody want to download because customer are very picky. Think about you as a customer. Are you picky about the time? Yes. All right, because we just want time. So, in order to do this, in order to do this, I need you to. Try to do the shortcut. So today I'm going to show you do the shortcut. You can do the exactly the same thing like here, but I want you to check this eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty. Okay, and I want you do a if else structure. All right. So here, if okay. Oh, sorry. Let me pull like here. We're going to teach you do if else if structure. If then else if okay then else if else if then else. All right. So I have this right now. I have a、uh, several group. Is that right? So one, two, three, four, five group. All right. So I need to have three else if. Let me show you. So if first I'm going to cut it, I'm going to do the shortcut. Okay, I'm going to do the shortcut. So if score is greater than, sorry, greater than equal ninety. All right. So I'm going to see how. Uh, uh, let me let me put like here. Is that okay? Let me put something here. Uh, Chara. Uh, 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 let. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, eighty. You are right. Yeah. Just a minute. Mama, is 晚上，是晚上。啊，是晚上。
All right. Yes. Okay. Sorry. 80. All right. You are right. So if and if score greater than 80, then I'm going to put gray here. Okay. So I'm going to put semicolon gray equal A. It's okay. Else if, then I'm going to put this score greater than equal, what's the next number? 70, is that right? All right, so uh, so if the score greater than equal 80 and compare to this right now, please compare to these. I was cutting the end operator. I was cutting the last equal 100. So see the, but then in order to do this, you must do else if. So two, two things allowed you to do this. All right, it must be sorted all right then descending descending order use greater than ascending order use less than you have to sort it after you sort it after you sort it and decide you are descending or ascending. All right, so this one, once you do this, now you can use if, else if structure to replace the, uh, in, to, repla to, to simplify. All right, so now if you don't, you have if here, if these, then you will have another if structure n, if n. So do you understand? If I don't do like this, I'll have if score greater than equal 80 and score less than 100, great equal a. I will have another if. So you will have one if statement, two if statement, three if statement, four if statement, five if statement. So if you don't have if else structure, you're going to have five complete if statement. In every if statement, you don't have else. All right, you just have if statement. But in every if statements, you must have the lower bound and upper bound. You must have a lower bound and upper bound. In order to have lower bound and upper bound, you need to have the end operator. So it will take a lot of time for your computer to ask you this, to ask you this. 
So in order for you and I to avoid the end operator, I start. There's a new structure I need you to memorize right now. It's called if else if, and I, I hope you like this structure. If else if structure. Add if else if structure. Number one, you must be sorted. Either descending or ascending. We try to do a descending order right now. I'll show you ascending order later. Then you can cut this and make this structure much easier right now. It's okay. So once they finish right here, once they finish all these, is that right? So I'm going to say here. All right. So see how the letter gray. All right. So now inside this structure, you got letter gray. Otherwise, you got in invalid score. Shall we try right now? It's okay. So I build it. And I start without debugging. All right. So I'm going to put like a one hundred twenty. So it was invalid. I cannot do anything. Uh, of course, right now we cannot do anything. In next chapter, we're going to do the loop. Okay, when the loop is, we're going to you know continue loop it because the the beauty of programming is we are not mathematic. We can only do once. We can do infinity and beyond. Okay, so I'm going to start without debugging right now. So I'm going to put um eighty five. Eighty five. The letter gray is an A. All right, so I have to stop. Do you understand? Because we don't have loop yet. In another chapter, we have loop. We're going to continue until you don't want to do it. So I'm going to run it again. Start without debugging. So I'm going to put fifty two. Fifty two is a D. Do you understand? Now, very important. I need you to memorize this structure called if else if, else if. And this structure depend on how many red group you have. I have one, two, three, four, five group. The first group is if. The last group is else. I need to have three set of else if. Three set of else if. And if you follow exactly like this way, look how much you save. Now in the mathematic class, you always learn to simplify your equation. If you don't, that points out. But in C plus plus class, to simplify your equation is most important thing. We're not going to have time. Uh, you know, points out. It's concern about your job and your pay. You understand? Everything has to be super simplified. Super super simplified. To save time, so once you save the time, then your application will be on the market. Otherwise, nobody will use it. All right. So this is your uh number sixteen. I teach you a new structure called if else if structure. If else if structure. I hope you like this structure because it will help you a lot. 